Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you today? Um, I am fine. Fine. Great. Did you have a good Monday? Or yes. That so? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Nice to hear that. Did you do something interesting in the weekend? Oh, I don't understand. Algo interesante, hizo algo interesante en el weekend? Eh, no. <laughs> no, just no. stay home, solo estuvo en casa. Yes. That's okay. Ah. Nice, es bueno descansar también, ¿verdad? So, yes. nice. Y a veces ni se descansa en la casa, pero bueno. <laughs> pues sí. Eso es un decir nada más. Decir es un decir, sí. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yes. Ok. So, um, revisaron que viene ahora. Vamos a empezar la sección 3. Yes? Yes. Did you check that? ¿Revisaron eso? Yes. Nice. Entonces, ¿de qué vamos a estar hablando? De... Con respecto a que si podemos ir a comprar uh, de tiendas, sobre todo. Ah, uh, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Places, lugares en la ciudad y qué se puede hacer en ellos. That's the topic. So vamos a, a ver vocabulario. Eh, lugares y cosas que se hace en cada lugar. So that's basically, eso es básicamente lo que vamos a estar viendo en esta unidad. So we're going to start, ya les compartí la, la presentación. Eh, ¿verdad? So the topic in section number three is you can't miss it. Me imagino que ya revisaron, ¿verdad? El tema, you can't miss it. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Vaya, me lo voy a compartir la pantalla para que... Y veamos acá. All right, so let me get ready here to share the screen. Vamos a compartir. Okay, here we are in the platform. So as you can see, it says vocabulary, places, and things. So that's what we're going to be doing. Vamos a estar hablando de lugares y las cosas que se pueden hacer en cada lugar. So let's go ahead. Vamos a ver el video. Okay, book it. That's a good shared sound. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Ok, so ya vimos el video y de qué se trata la sección, ¿verdad? Es eh, vocabulario y de ir haciendo oraciones y practicar qué es lo que se puede hacer en cada lugar. Entonces, viendo esto, vamos a ir a la presentación. Let me share screen again. Voy a compartir otra vez. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, 
Yes, this is what we just did. So I think it's a couple of different things. So we got, um, let's repeat, we got vocabulary here. Vamos a repetir, solo déjenme hacer esto un poco más grande. Once again, it's locked. Okay, there it is. Let's repeat. Aspirin, breath, a dictionary, gasoline, a sandwich, stamps, a suit, traveler's check. If you see, si se fijan del vocabulario, lo único que cambia aquí es el siete, a suit. Do you remember what is a suit? Si se acuerdan que es un suit? A suit. Un traje. Es un traje, yes, un traje. Where I can get a suit? A donde puedo obtener un, un, un suit? A department store. En a department store. Entonces haríamos la oración, you can buy a suit in a department store. Eh, esto fue lo que vimos en la plataforma, pero ¿qué otras cosas se pueden hacer? Eh, para la post office teníamos stamps, ¿verdad? Y la oración decía, you can buy stamps in a post office. ¿Qué más puedo hacer? You can mail a package in a post office. Ok, ahí se las puse. You can mail a package in a post office. Podemos enviar un paquete en una oficina postal. Aparte de comprar estampitas, ¿qué más podemos hacer en una post office? Ahí hay un ejemplo. Um, ¿Qué tenemos luego? A drugstore. Ok, en la drugstore, en la plataforma, el ejemplo decía, you can buy or you can get aspirin in a drugstore. Pero, ¿qué más podemos hacer en una farmacia? ¿Any ideas? Buy water. Uh, uh... Yeah, you can buy water in a drugstore. What else? And pay bill. Excellent. Yes, you can pay bills in a drugstore. Uh -huh. You can pay your bills in a drugstore. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you, let's voy a dar un... I think two minutes. Les voy a dar dos minutos para que escriban oraciones similares a las que hemos hecho hasta el momento utilizando estos lugares. A post office, a drugstore, a gas station, a department store, a bank, a bookstore, a coffee shop, a supermarket. ¿Qué otras cosas se pueden hacer en cada lugar? Write your sentences. Tres oraciones que escriban, that's okay. At least you try.
ready. Has anybody else finished? Alguien más terminó ya? All right, volunteers to share your work. Let's raise your hands. Vamos a ver las manitas. Voluntarios para compartir lo que han escrito. No volunteers. Si alguien... Okay, uh, we got Mario and Maria. We can start. Um, uh, Maria, what do you get? Okay. Um... You can buy bread in a supermarket. Okay, you can buy bread in a supermarket. Very good. And you can buy a dictionary in a bookstore. Mm -hmm. And you can buy sandwich in a coffee shop. Okay, very good job. Um, do you get something different, um, Mario? Yes, uh, you can buy an exquisite wine in a supermarket. You can buy a gift in the department store. And you can buy uh, oil for car in gas station. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Mario. Anybody else? Alguien más que quiera compartir sus oraciones? Algo diferente? Only Maria and Mario. Mm -hmm. Nadie más. No hicieron oraciones. Hacerse un café se fueron, ¿verdad? Me. <laughs> ok, Silvia. Eh, pero yo lo hice con mi persona. Ah, that's fine. Uh -huh. I can buy juice in a supermarket. And I can buy a um, um, newspaper in a book store. In a book store, uh huh. Solo dos is. <laughs> That's nice. Muy bien. Está bien. Bien hecho, Silvia. Thank you so much. And the rest, alguien más? Okay, so. Vamos a movernos aquí. Tenemos algo similar, solo que aquí pues ya está solo de, de leer y tenemos más vocabulario. Eh, lo vamos a necesitar porque estamos hablando de lugares, lugares en la ciudad, en nuestro vecindario. ¿Qué podemos encontrar? Eh, ay, aquí pueden ver la banderita, ¿verdad? Aquí ven en el Reino Unido se le llama car park. Para eso son las banderitas. En Estados Unidos le dicen parking lot. Esto se refiere al lugar de los parqueos, a un parqueo. En, en el Reino Unido, car park. En um, USA, parking lot. What is it? ¿Qué es? A parking lot is a place where you can leave your car for a period of time. Ok, we got restaurant. ¿Quién quiere leer restaurant? Jonathan, thank you. Restaurant, a mute. Tiene que desmutearse. Sorry. Restaurant. 
a place where meals are prepared and served to customers. Customers. Customer, customer. Okay, very good. Let's see, meals. Let's repeat, meals. Prepared. Meals. Prepare. Customers. Customer. Okay, nice. Vocabulario nuevo? Customer. Customer. Son clientes. Los clientes. Customers. Okay, pet shop or pet store. Monica. Good night. Pet shop or pet store. A place where you can buy pet and pet supply. So, supplies. Supplies. Supply source as pet foods. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Monica. Uh, vocabulario nuevo. Tenemos supplies. Supply. Mm -hmm. um, suplemento, ¿verdad? Such. Such. Such as, la palabra such as es como decir tal como. Ok. Tal como comida de mascota. Uh -huh. Such as pet food. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much, Monica. School, Elvis. School, a place where, where teacher help children learn. Excellent. Thank you so much. Eh, Rubén, creo que vi que levantó la manita. Pharmacy or drugstore. Pharmacy or drugstore, a place where you can buy medicine and others help eat items. Items, okay, items. Good, thank you so much. A shopping mall, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Me, Mario. Okay, Mario, thank you. Shopping mall, a large building that has many stores and usually a food court too. Excellent, thank you so much. Uh, playground. Playground. Mm hmm Eh, Yamilet, playground. Yamilet, are you there? Janet? Playground. And outdoor are where children can play on its wings or slide or other equipment. Excellent, thank you so much, Janet. Palabras nuevas? For sway, uh, swing. Swings, swing son los swings. columpios. Okay. <laughs> columpios, uh -huh. Slide you. es como el deslizadero. Y luego dice other equipment, otros equipos. Yeah, but swings son los columpios. Thank you so thank much. You. Mm -hmm. Now, stadium, water. A place where sports are played. You watch your favorite team play here. Thank you so much. Um, police station, let's listen for police station, Marvin. Marvin? Me, a uh, police station, the place where police office officer where you are taken care if you are arrested. All right, interesting. Thank you so much. Um, the place where police officer where you can oh you are taken here if you are arrested. Okay, let's try to avoid that. <laughs> Underground station or subway station, Angela?
Okay, Angela. A place where this subway. Subway train. Train is, is stops for passengers. Passengers. Excellent. Thank you so much. Passengers. Now, post office is a place where you can buy stamps and mail letters or parcels. Eso ya lo habíamos visto, básicamente. A supermarket is a self-service store where people buy groceries such as food or household products. New vocabulary here? Household. Uh, household is hogar. Mm -hmm. Household. Productos para el hogar. Household products. Now, prison. A uh, prison is a building where people are sent as punishment for a crime they committed. You can be repeating. Um, vamos a repetir. Lo voy a leer yo y lo van a repetir. Estoy teniendo a, um, así como a hard time haciendo que, que, que hablen. No sé si es porque el lunes es difícil arrancar y no están como. <laughs> o si es porque el vocabulario es complicado. Entonces lo voy a leer y ustedes pueden repetir después. Ok. Prison. Prison. A building where people are sent. A building where people are sent as punishment for a crime they committed. Punishment. As punishment for a crime they committed. They committed. Uh, vocabulario aquí, algún palabra nueva o vocabulario? Punishment. Punishment. Punishment es un castigo. Castigo. Punishment. Y a building. Um, building es un edificio o yeah, un edificio, el, el, el lugar. Building. Anything else? ¿Algo otra palabra nueva? Okay, zoo. A place where you can see animals and birds. A place where you can see animals and birds. From around the world. From around, From around, around the, the world. world. Okay, we have more vocabulary here. Airport. 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 The place you go when you want to travel by plane. The plane, the plane, you, the place you go when you to want travel to travel by, by bus. plane. To another city or country. To, to another, another city, city or country. country. Cafe or cafe. Cafe, cafe or cafe. Or cafe. Uh -huh. Así se puede decir en inglés de ambas formas, con acento o sin acento. Café o café. A place where you can buy a cup of coffee or tea and sandwiches. A place where, a you, place can where you can buy a, buy a cup, cup of, of coffee, coffee or, or tea and sandwich. sandwich. Amusement park. Amusement, Amusement park. park. Amusement park es un parque de diversiones. That's amusement park. Amusement park. A large outdoor area where people go on rides. A large, a large outdoor, outdoor area where people, where people go, go on, on rides. rides. Such as roller coasters, etc. Such so as roller coasters, etc. Yeah, you know, outdoor is al aire libre. Se refiere al aire libre, outdoor. Okay. Um, 
Roll coaster es, es, es eso, montaña rusa, la roll coaster. Yeah. Cinema or movie theater. Cinema, movie theater. The place where you can see the latest movies. The place where, where you, you can, can see, see the, the latest, latest movies. movies. Bakery. 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 A place where you can buy fresh bread and cakes. A place, a place where, where, you, where can you can buy, buy fresh, fresh bread, bread and, and cakes. And cake. Kurt. 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 A place where civil and criminal cases. A place, a place where, where civil, civil and criminal, criminal cases. Case are presented before a judge. Are presented before a judge. Bank. 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 A place where people deposit. A place a where, place where people, people deposit, deposit, withdraw, 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 or borrow money. Or borrow, or borrow, borrow money. money. What is withdraw? Ok, vamos a ver, deposit es igual que en español, es depositar, withdraw es lo contrario, es uh, retirar, withdraw, y borrow es prestar. Thank you. You're welcome. Es un vocabulario nuevo, muy útil. Vayan anotándolo y pues de pronto si se les olvida, recuerden que tienen ahí el enlace para ver la clase de nuevo en YouTube. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. No worries. Thank you for being here. Gracias que logró conectarse. Um, Thank you, Miss. Y como les digo, pues la clase va a estar ahí en el enlace de la YouTube list para que pues re hagan repaso o, o quieren ver nuevamente eh, vocabulario, pronunciación, ahí va a estar. Ok, entonces decimos deposit, depositar, withdraw, que dijimos que era withdraw. Retirar. 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 And borrow. Prestar. 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 Uh -huh. Ok. Craft market. Craft market. Craft market. An event or place. An, An event, event, event or place. place. Where people sell. Where, where people sell. Handmade product. Handmade product. Okay, so craft es, siempre se refiere a artesanías, el craft market. Es un mercado de artesanías, craft market. Y handmade es hecho a mano, productos hechos a mano, handmade product. Eh, bookstore. 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 A place bookstore. where you can buy books and magazines. A, a place, place where, where you buy, buy books and, and magazines. Magazine. Dentist. 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 The place where people go to take care. The place where, the place where, where, where people, people go to take, take care. Or fix a problem with their teeth. Or fix or fix or fix vocabulary. Vocabulary. Fix. Fix es reparar o arreglar. Thank you. Bus Tit. station. Uh, Tit es dientes. Bus Tit. Okay, let's continue. Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. The place where you go when you want to travel by bus to another place. The place, the place you go you when you want to, you travel, want to travel, travel by, by bus, bus to place. another place. Department store. Department, Department store. store. A large store that sells clothes. Household appliances, household appliances, etc. In different departments. 
in different, different departments. But shirt. But shirt. A place that sells fresh meat. A place that, that sells fresh, fresh meat. meat. Such as a steak. Such as, such as steak. steak. And sausages. And sausages. And sausages. Okay, el butcher carnicero. sería entonces la carnicería. Uh -huh. Carnicería es el butcher. Eh, a place that sells fresh meat such as steak es el bistec and sausages, salchichas. <laughs> uh, okay, dry cleaners. Uh -huh. Dry cleaners. Para eh, carnicero. Es butcher sin AS. Butcher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias, You're welcome. Now let's go ahead. Dry cleaners. Dry, Dry cleaners. cleaners. A place where you take your clothes. A place where you take your clothes. To be dry cleaned. To be, to be dry, 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 clean. dry clean. With chemicals. With chemicals. With chemicals. Not water. Not, Not water. water. Ahí no se especifica, ¿verdad? Que el dry clean, por eso se dice lavado en seco, ¿verdad? Dry mm -hmm. clean. Es una limpieza en seco. Es donde usted lleva su ropa y, y, y para que sea lavada en seco. To be dry clean. Es, utilizan quem, eh, químicos, no agua. So, with chemicals, no water. So, um, vimos dos da, diapositivas con diferente vocabulario de lugares que podemos encontrar en la ciudad y que podemos hacer en cada uno de ellos. Y pues es lo que les mandé a la presentación en el PowerPoint. Ahora vamos a ver la pronunciación de estos compound nouns. ¿Cómo se pronuncia un nombre compuesto? Compound nouns. This is a pronunciation topic. Lo vamos a ver en el video de la plataforma y luego pues vamos a, a discutir por acá un poco. Let me share the screen and well, I'm going to look for that video. Okay. Compound nouns. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, 
bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so as you could see, and this is what you have, también se los incluí en la material, verdad, la picture de los compound nouns. Y, um, let's see, eh, ¿qué entendieron de los compound nouns? ¿Qué es un compound noun? Okay, en el video empezaba Sentimos. por... Uh -huh. Por describir qué es un noun. Un noun es un sustantivo, ¿verdad? Eh, es nos explica, porque a veces los términos gramaticales tienden a ser un poquito como, como que eh, nos trauma, ¿verdad? El término gramatical es un noun, es como cualquier cosa que podemos ver a nuestro alrededor, ¿verdad? Decir cocina, computadora, mesa, persona. Eh, librería, eh, estación, y ahí nos, nos, nos describe eh, diferentes nouns. Entonces, un compound noun es un nombre que se compone de dos nombres para dar un significado, es, es para ser uno solo. Entonces, es, um, vamos a compartir acá para que veamos los, los mismos ejemplos de la plataforma. Aquí tenemos algunos. Eh, Oficina es un nombre, ¿verdad? Es como un nombre común. Ya para hacer un nombre distinto necesitamos dos y decimos post. Post office. Ok, entonces ya se convierte en oficina postales. Formamos un nombre diferente agregando otro. Eh, se compone de dos nombres y tiene un significado diferente. Eh, oficina es como muy general pero si le agregamos la palabra post, que es postal, ya es más específico y es algo diferente. Una oficina postal. Eh, igual tenemos como decir police office, eh, la oficina uh, de policía. Right? So, this is different, right? Eh, tenemos drugstore. El nombre drug, por sí solo, es una droga, ¿verdad? Drug. Pero ya si yo le agrego el otro noun, que es store, una drugstore ahora significa farmacia, ¿verdad? A drugstore. So, básicamente de eso se trata los compound nouns. Y uh, otra cosa que nos explica es eh, la pronunciación en estos nombres compuestos. El estrés o la fuerza de voz se escucha en la primera palabra, en el primer noun. Que es donde pues ven esa bolita dibujada, está indicando que ahí está la fuerza de voz. Eh, lo vamos a escuchar otra vez y, y pueden uh, um, para que se fijen ahí en el estrés vamos a escuchar y luego después van a repetir page 87 exercise 4 pronunciation compound nouns part a listen and practice Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Department store. Okay, I play it one more time so you can repeat. Lo voy a eh, poner otra vez el audio para que pues ustedes vayan repitiendo en casa. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. 
restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Department store. Okay, so this is it. Questions about this topic? Hay preguntas sobre este topic or everything clear? Okay, how would you read this? Hola? Se, se ocupa, digamos, con palabras que tienen, se ocupan en diferentes, ¿cómo se llama? Por ejemplo, oficina, está la oficina, como dice usted, oficina postal, oficina del... del Eh, de la escuela, oficina eh, en general, igual que estación, estación de, de, de gasolina, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Si le agrega bus, es otra cosa, uh -huh. bus, bus station, ajá, uh -huh. yeah, to add a different meaning. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. Um, Okay, now uh, that you have understood this topic, let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Déjeme ver acá ya. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's continue with this and Prepositions of place is the next thing that we're going to study here. And I think that there is also a conversation. Let's watch this video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. 
if we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is 2nd Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so first thing, it was the conversation, right? La primera cosa era la conversación. La vamos a escuchar una vez más y a practicar pronunciación. Uh, let me share my screen with you. Uh, this is what you got in the material sent. Se las mandé um, por ahí sola. Es un poquito diferente la... Ay, Dios, otra vez anclada aquí. Okay, here it is. Um, aquí está, so, los dibujos son un poco diferentes, el contenido es el mismo y pues aquí me gusta más que el señor de verdad suena afligido con el niño en necesidad de un restroom. I like this one better. Ok, so, we're going to practice pronunciation. Les voy a ir dando play y voy a parar en cada interacción para que ustedes puedan repetir en casa y lo pueden hacer con el micrófono en silencio, ok? Okay, let's go ahead and practice. Page 87, exercise three, conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh. oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. It's across from the park. You can't miss it. Pfft. 
Thanks a lot. Okay, did you find new vocabulary? ¿Encontraron vocabulario nuevo? ¿Alguna palabra que quieran saber? ¿Significado o pronunciación? Antes de que hagamos otra práctica. Corner. Esquina. Esquina. Yes. Corner, esquina. Anything else? Algo más? Across. Across, al otro lado. La, la primera avenida, ¿cómo se pronuncia? First Avenue. First Avenue. Uh -huh. That's correct. First Avenue. Yes. Okay, anything else? Teacher, across también podría ser como cruzar. Yes, al cruzar o al otro lado, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other question? Ok, if there are no more questions, vamos a practicar una vez más y luego vamos a ir a la práctica en grupos. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A Excuse me, can you hear me? Is there a public restroom around there? Public Please? restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Uh, public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Now, it's an M. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Oh dear. Well, there's a restaurant in the in the department store of Main Street. Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, very well. So we're going to proceed. Vamos a proceder a practicar en grupo esta conversación. Eh, la tienen en la presentación que se las envía antesito de la clase. So you have it there and I'm going to create the room. Teacher. ¿Sí? Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia emergency? Así. Emergency. Mm -hmm. Emergency. emergency. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's join the rooms and practice this conversation.
Oh no. My son needs a restroom. Now it's an emergency. Oh dear. When there a restaurant in the depart store on May Street. Where on Main Street? Is on the corner of Maid and First Avenue. On the corners on Maid and First. Yes, it. Across from the park, you can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Now. Uh, yes. Uh, excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I am sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now it's an emergency. Oh, dear well, there is a room in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It is the corner of Main and Fifth Avenue. On the corner on Main and First? Yes. It is across from the park. You can meet it. Thanks a lot. Si, si gustan lo repetimos, este, vemos dos mujeres y dos hombres. Exacto. Ok. Todos juntos. Um, you, Monica, and, 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 and me? Yes. Ok. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Now it's an emergency. Oh there, well, there are restroom in the department store on May Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. On the corner of May and First? Yes, it's across from the park, you can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Elvis and Monica. No, and Janet, no. Yes. Perdón, perdón, me, me llamaron por teléfono. Díganme, ¿con quién voy? You start. Conmigo. Okay. Start. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh, there. Well, there's a room in the department store on May Street. Where on May Street? It is on the corner of May and Fields Avenue. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, yes, it is across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Elvis, practice with me. Okay. Empiezo yo de nuevo. Okay. O empiezo usted porque no he hecho el otro papel todavía. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Now, is it an emergency? Oh dear, well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's in the corner of the Main in First Avenue. Oh, the corner of Main and the First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Monica and uh, Janet, you practice. Janet, first, excuse me, can you help me? Is this a public restaurant around here? A, a public restaurant? Mm, I am sorry, I don't think so. 
Oh no, my son need a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on May Street. Where on May Street? It is on the corner of May and Fields Avenue. On the corner of May and Fields? Yes, it is the Thank you, Sylvia and Johnny. <laughs> okay, so um Unfortunately, time is over. Se nos acabó el tiempo, desafortunadamente, pero bien porque también tenemos que descansar, ¿verdad? So, no le voy a quitar más tiempo. Eh, nos Teacher, vemos. One question. Hola. Eh, una pequeña consulta. Uh -huh. ¿Se podrá enviar lo que es la diapositiva un poco más antes, digamos, como mediodía? para poder tenerlas así impresas. Claro que sí, se las puedo enviar antes. Lo voy a hacer, um, nomás las termine. Esta es la misma que vamos a estar utilizando mañana. Eh, dependiendo cómo no vaya, si la modifico o algo, se lo voy a tratar de enviar uh, con horas de anticipación, ¿verdad? Antes de la clasecita. Uh -huh. Ok, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. Bueno, anything else? ¿Algo más? No? No. All right, so that will be it. Thank you for joining and see you tomorrow. Good uh, good night. Take Thank care. You. Good night, everyone. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night.